Welcome back! We're doing uh, what requires the biggest leap of logic in uh, on an A. And it requires you to know what this lever does. And that's uh, something that usually would require you to uh, make a couple of leaps of logic. So what you can do if you pull the lever now, and you hear that it makes that sound again. So apparently, it's changing again. Although we should note that the sound takes a lot longer this time. So that's interesting in itself. So. Uh, another thing we need to realize here is that this lever didn't do anything before. It only works if the age has been changed. If you're in the control center, somebody else changes the age by using the book on the pedestal, and then you pull the lever, it does something. If you pull the lever when the age is in its normal state, it doesn't do anything. Actually, uh, Nora, can you just link through to the um, to Anane itself? Okay. I'll go there as well. Because now we can see it's changed back to the water version. Which means that rather than changing it forward, it actually changed it backwards. The lever in the control center moves that version of Anone back to the selected position. So I was in control center 1 when I pulled the lever in the control center, and that's the water version. So after pulling the lever, water is active again, even though Nora had touched the pedestal before that. And that means that Wherever I was when I uh, touched that journey cloth inside the control center, there's something else there now. And if you assume that, there, that the ages are moving in a circle, then you might think, well, that, that'll take us to control center 3. Except, of course, if you've already uh, made the leap of logic, or discovered by accident, that there is a fourth version. In which case, you know that this is the only way we're going to get into control center 4. All this is very hard to explain properly without diagrams and stuff. You know, I did persuade Sven when he made his Complete Chronicles one to make that little video, because I said, not all of us can see that in our heads. Yep. So it was really useful to have that little video explaining it. And I might do one as well for uh, the two-person version. We'll see. If I have the time and feel like it and stuff. All right. We are indeed in another control center. And if we look on the wall, it is indeed Control Center 2. Uh, uh, 4, sorry. What the hell am I saying? Um, and there's some sparks there. And the light is flickering. Oh, there you are. This place You're has the... the uh, dark. Has a feel that it has been abandoned longer than the others, actually. Let's see if there's anything to find here. Well, there's the door, of course. Uh, we'll look at that momentarily. Let's just check if there's anything in the... on this side. Nope, doesn't look like it. At least both of the doors are open here. Of course, now that we know there's a fourth control center, 
that definitely confirms that there is a fourth uh, version of, Hon of Honorne. Now, I think there's two ways to get to that version of Honorne. One way is to do what we did earlier, which means I go in the water, Nora touches the pedestal, then I climb, uh, climb out of the water, touch the cloth, then um, you move water back into the active position, just go through the whole uh, running around thing again to put water back, and then link to the cloth again. Then you'd end up on the uh, the main section of the fourth version of Anone. There is another alternative method, which is what we'll use in a little bit, and it, you'd probably pretty much be able to guess uh, what it is because this lever here does exactly the same thing as the one in the control center one did, which means that if I pull this lever, it will move the edge so that now the version we are in, which is control center four, therefore the fourth unknown version of Ooh. becomes the selected version. And in this control center, and in this control center only, the door opens. Now we could link out and then go and visit this fourth version. We are, however, not going to, because then coming back here is very complicated. We can, however, get a sneak peek at the fourth version. Here, through this imager. Now, something that might not be immediately obvious uh, is that here we are actually outside of the uh, moving part of Anone. This part is stationary, it does not move along with the rest. And I am now suddenly uh, wondering if these gears here are part of the mechanism that moves Anone and if you could see them move if somebody else uh, touches the pedestal. I guess we'll have to try that later. You can also tell which version is active, because that version is always the one that's shown in the imager. Have you ever done that? No, I haven't, so... Uh. Well, that would be interesting. I mean, I mean if, if you went out, or if I went out... Yeah, but uh, we'll know. do that later, because it would, yeah. say it would cost us a lot of time if we do it now. Yeah. Because we want to have a journey cloth behind the door. And unfortunately... Yeah. The journey cloth that was here, in this location, in uh, Complete Chronicles, isn't here anymore. So we have to get all the way to the end before we can do that. Because there was actually a journey cloth here uh, in the... Uh Ooh, chair. There is a chair, indeed. With a button, like every other chair in Mist. Um, well, let's see what it does. It lowers. This is a one-person only ride. Nora will have to wait until I get to the other side. Before she can return the chair. A couple of levers here. This one takes you back up. And this one uh, turns you around. And this one moves you forward, as we are doing now. And it is here that the linking panel for Anone begins to make sense. Because that linking panel shows a waterfall. And hey, if there isn't a waterfall here. Unfortunately, you cannot see somebody else take this ride. We've tried it, and it looks as if it should be easily visible, because you can see this cage mechanism that the uh, the pod gets trapped in while moving across. But it seems that that's something the game designers simply did not program in. They did not allow you to. Uh, you know, while I'm here, I keep hearing these gear noises. 
Um. That might be the mechanism that's moving the, the train then. Yeah. So are you out yet? Not yet. I am now. Uh, this train reminds me uh, of a lot of the different rides in Mist and Riven, but mostly of the maze in uh, the original Mist. Oh! Very loud gear noises here. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I think that's... Did you send the chair back? No, I just got up. Oh. You, you can pu push the button now to call the chair back. No, I was just going to look and see if I could see, because they're just really loud gear noises, like it was changed, something was changing position. Okay, I'll try to push the button now. It wasn't letting me push the button before. No, it does not let you do that until... Um, You're out of the chair. You're out of the chair. Um, and now the chair I guess is, be is leaving. Okay, we'll continue in the next video.